If you have a plain tray like me that's just been sitting around, this is a great project for you. This actually came from a craft store and I always thought I was gonna paint it and do something, but now is the time, new year, new me. You just need two things to reinvent a tray. You need a plain tray. It could even be an old tray you wanna repurpose, so it doesn't have to be wood. A can of spray paint, your favorite color. I chose navy because navy is a neutral and it's a classic and it goes with everything. And some contact paper. This is like a cute little floral one. Got this at the 99 cent store and I don't know, it's a really fun pattern. Spray paint should take about two coats. Get two really nice coats, let it sit for the first one, totally dry, and then do the second one. Once it's totally dry, then come back to me. Voila! See what we did here? Yes, I spray painted it and it's totally dry. Next, we're gonna cover the bottom because it still doesn't look totally finished as you can see. That's why we're gonna cover the bottom. So if you're gonna do a rectangle shape, that's the easiest shape to do because it has square corners. Sometimes they're oval shapes, a little harder, but either way, it can be done. So the goal here is we're taking this contact paper that we need to cut down and measure for the inside. That's gonna give us that finished look on the bottom. By the way, PS little tip, you might need to do some sanding if it's a little rough. We're in good shape though. Now that you have a cut out, we wanna make sure it fits. So place it right inside. Perfect. Okay, first things first, find that pesky little corner. Start with the shorter side. It'll be easier to peel from. I'm gonna turn it like this. Okay, I'm just gonna peel a little bit off the bottom. Be very smooth. You don't want wrinkles and air bubbles. I'm gonna start in the corner and slowly just place those corners in there. Make sure right when you have the corners, use your fingers to slide the very top and very slowly rotate this. Now be careful because you might get air bubbles like we have in here. So make sure you push them all out to the side and smooth them out. Oh, this looks so cute. Believe it or not, that's it. This is our tray. This is perfect for any desk, any bedside table, or a coffee table. I love it. Let's go test this out. Here you have our updated brand new tray, which looks great in just about any room, especially the living room, if I do say so myself.